Hoffman Cathedral. It's Friday, February 22nd. I'm Eric. And I'm Megan with your morning announcements. We'll start off the show with a message from Mrs. Cannon. Good morning, Cathedral. Here we are Friday morning, and beside me we have Powell and Miss McCabe. And there's a very special announcement this morning. Just during exam time, the annual Benet Brith Celebrity Dinner was held. And one of the highlights of the Celebrity Dinner is that a, two local students are honored and recognized for their outstanding commitment to school, to community, to athletics, and just being an all-round excellent student. And uh, among all the high schools, that's both Catholic, public, and even private, among all the high schools, two uh, students are selected, a male and a female, and it is my great pleasure to let everyone know here at Cathedral that it was Powell who was the recipient of this very prestigious award. The award is the Jeff Dickens Award. Jeff Dickens was a, uh, a writer, a journalist with the Hamilton Spectator, back when we used to get a lot more coverage of high school sports, but that's a discussion for another matter. But Jeff Dickens was highly regarded, very, very uh, well respected among the community and certainly among his colleagues. He passed away at a young age, a relatively young age. He was just in his 40s. But ever since, his colleagues, his friends have kept alive his memory by honoring local high school students in this way. So congratulations to Powell. We are very, very proud of you. The nomination package that uh, was submitted Admitted was outstanding and if I could just take a moment to read what the plaque says the Jeff Dickens Memorial Award presented by the Hamilton Spectator awarded to a student whose commitment to athletic participation academic standards and community involvement should be a model for all and most definitely that fits Powell's description to a T we are very very proud of Powell and we absolutely uh, all of us congratulate you and Miss McCabe who's been coach and mentor to Powell for past few years maybe has a few words Yes, uh, thank you. And the thing that uh, I think we need to notice here is at the awards ceremony, they said that they had the largest number of applicants that they have ever received. We were kind of thinking, oh, well, maybe, you know, because the public schools aren't having athletics this year, that maybe they didn't have as much you know, as many applications, but this was the year that it was the most, and this is the year a cathedral student is recognized. We're very proud of what Powell has done. Over a 90% student scholarship to McMaster, uh, Jeff Dickens Award recipient. It's a great day to celebrate, Gales. a great day. Congratulations, Powell. Before we move on, as uh, you are all maybe aware who followed the senior girls volleyball team, Powell was one of the coaches who helped to support, to guide, to mentor, to direct our girls to a fantastic season and into the semifinals. Unfortunately, the other night in the semifinal action against Cardinal Newman, we came up a bit short, but anybody that was there witnessed the heart and soul and skill. Our girls battled right to the very end, whether it was offensively or defensively. So we are very proud of you. Well done. Thank you for representing uh, Cathedral and doing it so well. Thank you to our coaches, Mr. Cappadocia, Ms. Craig, to Powell, to Ms. McCabe, and the many who came out to support our girls throughout the season. Also the other night, our girls hockey team was in quarterfinal action and came up short in that game. But again, congratulations on a well-played season, how well you did and put your heart and soul into it. We're very, very proud of you course there's next season and you're going to hear some great news about g-hack swimming so will that be on later on in the announcements and of course today our g-hack wrestling is going on and our think fast more information about that so a lot going on cathedral have a great day now back to the anchors Thanks, Miss. Any grade 12 students who have applied to university for the 2013-2014 school year, listen up. Your marks have been updated on the OUAC website. Please check to see that your records are accurate. Also, the initial graduation list has been posted outside of the guidance office, and all students must review this list. Only students who have achieved 40 hours of community service and 26 credits at the end of the semester 
will appear on this list. Please check to see if your name is spelled properly, and if you have any questions, please see Mr. Nordoff in guidance. This is a reminder to all grade 12 specialist high skills major students in the first CPR first aid session next week. Class days are Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday after school from 3 to 7 p.m. each day. It is absolutely free. Just come with a pencil or a pen and be ready to learn how to save lives. The list of names for the first session will be posted today on the Specialist High Skills Major Board outside of guidance. Double check to make sure you are part of the first session. If you have any questions, come see Miss Samantha period 3, 4, or 5 in guidance. All students attending the France and Germany trip are asked to find Madea Morrison or Mr. Tabuco sometime today to pick up important information about your trip, specifically getting notarized letters before your departure on March 6th. The YWCA's Totally Awesome Women's Breakfast Organizing Committee has a mandatory meeting today after school in room 206. All members must attend. All Souls Church is looking for student volunteers to help out in their annual spaghetti supper dinner dance on Saturday, March 9th. If you're interested, please see Mrs. LaRue in room 309 or room 303 anytime today. And speaking of volunteering, any grade 11 or 12 student who has maintained an honors mark in science and math and are interested in tutoring a grade 7 student from one of our feeder schools are asked to meet, see Mr. Nordoff as soon as possible. This is a great opportunity to achieve community service hours. The Diversity Ambassadors are holding their next meeting on Monday, February 25th. All members should assemble in room 310 after school. Anyone interested in helping out with the multicultural show should also attend. See you all at 310 in room 310. Thanks from your advisors, Ms. Craig, Medea Morrison, and Ms. Fitzpatrick. An updated schedule for, week, for next week's girls' rugby training will be available by the end of the day outside of room 309 in the CSE print shop. Girls, don't forget about your film review Monday after school in room 308. Feel free to bring snacks. Newcomers and are welcome to join, and the team is open to all grades. This is just a reminder to teachers that the, at the beginning of period two today, the guidance department will be showing a video on how students are to select courses for September. Students, don't forget that your option sheet and $40 activity fee are due next Friday. Now I'll pass it over to Ms. Lucier, coach of the Cathedral swim team. Good morning, Cathedral. Uh, I'm here with some of the Cathedral swimmers that participated yesterday in GHAC at Guelph University. It was a great day in the pool for Cathedral. We participated in seven events and we made the final in six. Some top results for Cathedral were the boys 200 meter relay team who came in third, Aaron Paterakia who finished second in the senior boys 50 uh, meter butterfly uh, by a heartbreaking point zero two seconds. However, the, be the best result of the day was Amelia Panasar, uh, who finished first in the senior 100 meter breaststroke and will be representing Cathedral at OFSA in two weeks. So big hand there. Okay. Congratulations, Amelia. I want to give a special thanks to uh, Coach Druven, who's dedicated seven years. He reminded me that we've coached together uh, for the swim team, so we're so lucky to have outside coaches helping out our teams. Well done to all Cathedral swimmers. It was a great day, and it was a great season. And now we're going to sing We Are the Champion, because we have a champion, and here's Miss McCabe to lead the way. Oh, yeah. Anytime we have a chance to celebrate, we're here. So we have Amelia here, we have champions here, we have all excellent, excellent swimmers all the way back, see all the way back there, and it's time to celebrate. So <clears throat> get all your voices ready. You know you want to sing with me. Here it comes. We are the champions, my friends, and we'll keep on fighting till the end. We are the champions, we are the champions, no time for losers, cause we are the champions of the world. Alright, have a great day Cathedral! Thanks miss, and those are all of your announcements for today Cathedral. Good all luck right. to everyone doing the Think Fast today and tomorrow. Happy birthday goes out to Tiffany Mills from all your friends. Have a great weekend, Gales, and thanks for watching. Now don't you understand?